By far, the simplest way to deploy your Next.js application is by using Vercel. Vercel is the parent company that created Next.js, so of course this integration is going to work really well, and that's exactly what we're going to demo, so let's go. You can bring your own example Next.js application, we're just starting with the basic template one that has an index page, as well as a simple hello API that returns the name John Doe. And by executing npm run dev, we can see this demo page, as well as the demo API. Now let's look at how we can deploy this or any other Next.js application to Varsel. Varsel supports continuous integration, so honestly the best way to deploy is to publish this to an online repository. For example, here we are publishing the code to a GitHub repository. Now once we have this code on GitHub, the next step is to log into Varsel to create a project that is linked to this repository. We go to varsel.com, click on sign up and then continue with GitHub. Once you've authorized and logged in with GitHub, you will be presented with an overview and this is where we will create our new continuous deployment project. Here you can import a Git repository and we will select the demo Varsel project that we just published to GitHub. Now as we mentioned, Varsel works really well with Next.js, so the only real thing that you need to do over here is to click the deploy button. It's going to kick off the deployment and the first time it runs, it's going to take a bit of time. It's not a lot of time, but I've sped this up for you nonetheless. Now once this completes, it takes you to a nice pretty congratulations screen and now we can go to the dashboard for this particular project. Now within the dashboard, you can see the domains to which this particular application was deployed. You can visit any of these domains to view your application live in production. And of course, our API, that is API slash hello, exists here as well. And honestly, that's how easy it is to deploy your Next.js application to Varsel. But let's take it a bit further and demo the development workflow with continuous delivery that Varsel provides. We can visit our application and GitHub and modify it over here. For example, change our API John Doe to start returning Jane Doe and then create a new pull request with this particular change. And of course, we could have made this change and pushed it from our local machine as well. And now Varsel will automatically pick up this pull request and do a custom preview build specifically for this particular code change. We can see this deployment taking place as a part of the checks that are being performed on this particular pull request as well. The details button takes us to the deployment overview. And once this deployment completes, we can view our code change running in a preview environment by either clicking on the domain or clicking the visit button. This takes us to the application homepage, which we haven't modified, but we have modified the slash API slash hello. And as you can see, it is now returning Jane Doe instead of John Doe. Once we are happy with the change, that is we understand that the code modification works as expected, we can jump back to our pull request and merge it to the main branch. Now this merge commit that is going to get created is going to kick off a production deployment instead of just a preview deployment. And we can see that at the root of this particular project, against the merge commit, there is a check running that has been created by Varsel. And if we click through to the details, we can see the application being deployed to production. And once the status turns to ready, congratulations, you deployed your change to production. And we can verify that by going back to the production tab that has the API open and simply refreshing. And you can see that the API is returning the new value, which is Jane Doe. And that's it for this lesson on deploying your Next.js applications using Varsel. If you're interested in more Next.js content, here's the lesson where we deploy a Next.js application to Netlify, which provides a very similar feature set. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.